Okay, for everyone listening right now, I wish all of you a friend named Cookie. <laughs> that you can call whenever, whenever and talk about the kookiest shit and say a lot we of know things. someone named Cookie. We do, but she is a woman in her 70s. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know many. Now, this could have been a straight man. I don't know a lot of men named Cookie. Maybe. Maybe a maybe a female, maybe a male presenting person. I um, thought the voice was male. It, I'm I'm being facetious. Oh, yeah. But straight male? Okay, we don't I don't know. know. We don't know. I don't know. We don't know. But uh anyway, Cookie had good advice. Cookie did. You're holding it all in. Hold it all in. Better begin. We're there about to read. So much to read. We're so much to lose. Do, 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 do. And that's why you come here to listen to someone singing fucking Dick Tracy deep uh, cuts. Deep Dick Tracy by Sondheim. Deep cuts by Sondheim. Y'all, this is below deck sailing yacht. BDSM. Villa today, gone tomorrow. I hate that title i understand why it's there i hate it but i knew what was gonna happen yeah i mean i kind of already assumed gabby was gonna gabriella was gonna leave but as soon as i saw the title i went oh well she's leaving how about call it um uh uh something that rhymes with here um Queer today, gone tomorrow Queer today <laughs> i don't mind the villa i don't mind the title I just it doesn't did- rhyme though well, I know, but yeah, I didn't. Or, that doesn't bother me. I just like that it gave away what was happening. But I get it. I get it. Yeah, You're Villa, a Villa it today. You. you do have a degree in poetry. I Villa can see today. You. I don't know. Fuck it. Who cares? You're gonna I'm not going to solve. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to solve their problem. You're going to think them. about this at three in the morning. Yes. and Wake up from a deep sleep, and you're going to go Villa today. Well, especially when you're doing. Quick, catchy titles. You want to have it sounded like Crappens is really good at this. All yeah. their titles are playoffs of something that either plays on words. This sounded like a play on words, but it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, we don't title our shows that because I don't have the energy. It's, it takes, they, they love doing that and good for them. Good for them. We do other things. Yeah. We do other things. Like, but something we do like them, y'all, we go on live show tours and our summer tours up. Be sure to. Um, by the time you're, you're you're hearing this, by the time by by the time you're listening to this, yep, tickets are on sale for our pre-sale. If you're in the Patreon or Supercast, tickets are already on sale. Uh, the code is I'm not going to tell you because we've already emailed it to them. Ooh. But there's a code for that, or you can wait for the general pre-sale that will go on at 1 p.m. Eastern time Friday. on Friday. Go to our link tree link. Uh, it should be on the website, but for sure it will be in our link tree link that's on Instagram. our Instagram. We'll also post that on Twitter um, and in the Facebook group. Exciting. I think that's it. I, if it isn't, then that is for now. I can't think of anything else. Um, y'all, let's talk about this episode. First of all, the title told us everything we needed to know. Yes. Gabby is, or Gabriella is no She's longer. gone. Your baby's gone. Wah, 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 wah. Again, you come up Down, with a country song. Keep a black bird. I hear she's gone all out. What I know that wrong. Song. That's a good one. Now, did you see the news about Gabriella? I did see she's this dating Wes. I'm. I can. See I can that. see this couple. I consider Yo, Wes him, from Below Deck Med. Yeah, I can consider Hot. him weathering her. No, from regular Below Deck. Yeah. Yeah, the yes. Low Deck season nine that we just finished. I bet they look good together doing it. That's a hot couple. They're gorgeous together. Wes is hot, y'all. Straight sex is nothing for me. <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry. Anyway, y'all, good for them. Maybe they met I'm, at a below I'm deck convention. And no, they... it's the, he worked on her. She worked on his boat. Really? Yeah. Oh, because he's a sailing guy. Yeah. That's what he loves to do. I forgot. I like it. <laughs> Well, no, but he said that. I, I, I no, no, but you're you're saying this like never mind. I read everything about it. You're like, oh, and you you're having realizations. I just saw the picture and went, yeah, y'all don't have time to read all that. I read it. 
Good for you. So uh, she's getting that West D. Good for her. It's good D. West a oh, West D. Okay, yeah, gotcha. West D. Um, but she seems to. She was on Watch What Happens Live last night. She seems to be a lot happier. She just a couple of things she said because uh, I did. I did wind up watching it. You didn't watch it, right? Mm-mm. Um, she did say she felt. After the after the season, she said, I did not feel supported by Daisy, but after watching this, I can see how she did try to talk to Ashley, and she did not have very nice things to say about Ashley, obviously, uh, but she didn't really say anything bad. She's like, pass, um, mm. but we're going to talk about a little bit more about what we thought happened. I was a little disappointed in Daisy this episode, I have to say. I was too. I was disappointed, yeah. But I, I think it started... What what did you? I, I was too, but I want to know what you thought she could have done differently. I mean, this is going to them, but we already know she left. I think she could have personally gone and said goodbye to her, and if she did, we didn't see it on camera. Oh, I thought that was. I don't. I mean, like just keeping the relation. Not even there's some. Oh, things I thought before, they all said goodbye at the end. Been in a group, but I thought oh, you're I her see. superior, and the captain yeah, I agree. just told you she's gone. Instead, we see Kelsey go to Gabriella, who's not even on her crew, just a right. friend on the boat. No, I agree with Daisy you. Daisy should go and say, hey. Oh, Kate, I, that's what Kate did when Lexi left. That's true. Like, that's that's her job. Katie. Katie, yes. Yeah. She should she should follow up. And no, do I that. agree with you. I was disappointed I, in that. No, I was saying, I, 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 my question I asked you, what do you think you could prevent? What? <sighs> that's what I was, I, that's what I was getting at. I think. Daisy sometimes leads like a parent with loud kids who just tells her kids to stop when it's happening, yet she doesn't do any of the, doesn't lay the groundwork before. Meaning like when they're in the pool yelling at each other, she just is like, stop, stop. No, and she doesn't want to like totally offer agree with any you. type of solutions. Totally agree with you 100%. I'm talking about this episode. This episode, that when they were in the pool, when when Gabriella and Marcos are fighting in the right. pool. And she just goes, stop, uh-uh, none but of this, none of this, none of this. I I understand, though. It's a it's a tricky thing because when your people aren't getting to – you can't say you need to get along with the chef better. Yeah. Um, and I it's hard to fix these dynamics because with Gabby, it's not a it, – to me, it wasn't – she was – she was inarguably picking on Marcos. She was making fun of the way he talked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it's almost like – then she could have said something. I agree. What I want to say is in the very beginning, though, and I, I, because I've, I've been critical of Daisy's leadership style. In the very beginning, uh, Daisy said, Ashley, we're going to be, we're going to give her a clean slate. Mm-hmm. And so you have to as well. Mm-hmm. I thought that was setting us up well. Mm-hmm. Now, Ashley did not do that, obviously. No, no, no. no. Uh, so. And then I, how did and I, so my question at first my thought was, well you need to tell her to do that more. And then I thought, well, but how do you get Ashley to do that? Exactly. Oh, I think it's setting. I think it's trying to at least saying it out loud. Yeah. No. No. I, I agreed that was a good thing for her to do. But yeah, the, I actually fe- I felt for her because I went, how do you yep. get Ashley to do that? Because Ashley is terrible. What I I agree. What I've been critical of in the past is Daisy letting things go for too long. Yeah. And but I but at this point for Gabriella, I was you were just seeing her in a tailspin and I don't know if anything could be done. I don't think anything I think Gabriella did the the best thing of that. I think this wasn't even about, like she said, people on the boat. This was just a kind of a mental not I don't want to say breakdown that sounds over dramatic but just a mental moment where she needs to step back and take care of her mental health I, I agree doing the right thing it still felt weird to me like there were whole there were moments felt like we were missing pieces it felt like we yeah. were and me being tinfoil hattie and um, she is y'all she that, is it felt like there was weird tension between her and Marcos earlier and i'm wondering if either he wasn't interested in her or something um or maybe he was interested in her and she said no and or something was weird I feel like we would have seen that but yet possibly it does feel like and it happened quickly i mean 
Marcos offered some clarity where he said, she reminds me of an ex-girlfriend who used to pick at me all right. the time and she triggers me. But, and that helps explain because Marcos is right. She's picking on him. But I will say in what she said, I was like, okay, Marcos, like, yeah, but like it felt like an overreaction to me, like a really strong, from him, from, huh, from a strong reaction. Yeah. Uh, and, but then once he explained that, I went, okay, but then if you know someone triggers you, then I felt like with Marcos is good in that he sets a boundary, but at the same time too, you feel like there's, remember Gabriella tried to went and talk to him, tried to go and talk to him before. Yeah. And she talked to him a little bit this time. He doesn't offer any grace in those moments. No, no, moments. no. He's and, like, well, okay, thanks. And I just want to point out one thing that. It's 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 uh, it's uncomfortable, but he outranks her. Yeah, he outranks her. Period. Yeah. So who's going to be more valued? Sadly, yeah. Your seconds to or your chef. Daisy knows this. Yeah. She can't favor in a way. She can't favor the chef over. No, the seconds we learned two. after mate you with yeah. how terrible he was, and they and all had to could, lick his ass. That's true because they knew that rank. Yeah. Um and. Gabby is saying things to, uh, and and kind of, especially when he was talking to when she was talking to him in the when he was talking about it's hotter where I come from, and she was talking like in a fake Venezuelan accent, and I was just like, ooh, that yeah, that felt really. I just wanted to put herself out of that as far as like she was using that Venezuelan accent, and I know that uh, I don't know fully Gabriella's heritage, so maybe she felt like I'm inside baseball when I could. But it's almost it like it didn't feel that way. You can't say all Latin X people are the same, right? And you can't like to me that would have been it. Just felt inappropriate. No, she. I don't think she reads cues of what's appropriate. I, I wrote she does not have good because especially in the, when she's sitting down at that dinner and she like pretends like okay everybody thank you for coming to my yeah. dinner. Yeah, it felt awkward, and then we real. I felt a little hoodwinked by editing going this can't be the first time we all felt awkward by gabriella that's what i feel but, like this episode may have been either re-edited or edited to show something because more. it's like we've got a really good she seems fun balls to the wall but a fun kind of brassy well, but gets along well but this we see she doesn't has no social skills. Well, what not, no, what but. this show what this show and editing tried to show us was when Gabby drinks, she gets abusive to other people. Yeah, that but, that and that she's just socially awkward, right? And we didn't see that before. We, we've seen it a little bit in previous episodes, but not to this the drinking, extent. But not the awkwardness. Yeah, I never noticed. I've never had moments watching her where I would go, I don't know what to say to this. It felt like it felt like we weren't getting the whole story. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if she said other things that were 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 more detrimental to her the way she felt Maybe. on the boat. It was a Swiss cheese story, everybody. Um, but it things did not not I'm I'm still I watched this episode and it didn't really add up for me. Yeah. Um of why she left. But we'll I mean, talk about. Let's just talk about the rest of her leaving. Well, she, I, I, they, she had a good conversation with Colin, where she, you know, they're sitting at the table, and Colin just says to her, "Look, happy Gabby is amazing, and then sometimes I get, and even Gabby has the awareness to say, hypersensitive, like turns on you. You don't know what she's going to say, Gabby, and Colin just goes, your words. <laughs> but he was so diplomatic in that." And yeah. it gave her just a little bit of an inch. I think if Marcos had given her a little bit of an inch of like, because the deal that why Marcos drives Gabby crazy, Gabby feels like Marcos doesn't care about her at all. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's a chef doing his job. He doesn't care about her. I don't think he cares about any of the women except for I, maybe Daisy. I agree. And But that is her trigger. She yeah. needs someone to be like, you're wonderful, or you mean a lot to me. She oh, needs that emotional connection. Honey, please, you don't need that from people. We do not. There are so many people in your life who will mean zero to you. You know what? <laughs> but you do need that from people that are close to your life. But I'm going to say this. Y'all, you don't. It's great if you have it. But you don't always get, and you don't have to have emotional validation in your job. 
You should. Yeah. You should. A good employer should do that. But sometimes a lot of a lot of our sissies, they're in their fucking cubicle. I just did a cameo for someone who said they don't feel valued in their job. And, and so it's like, how do we get them value if you know you're not going to get it from your job? Exactly. And my response to her was, go in there. If you, Number one, it's, I, I did not say this, but it isn't, it isn't part of their job to value you. Um, the, the job that they're doing. And, yeah. and, but I want, but I said, if sometimes if you go in there and you're valuing yourself, people will say something's different about her. Yeah. Something's different. Yeah. Instead of looking to other people to do it, then, then it won't be a question for you anymore. People will just look at you differently. Yes. Yeah. That's and you can always look for another job that that because right. but that's much more of a within the last probably ten years of workplaces emotionally valid. That's just become new. now it's yeah, it's a new thing. And I bring that up but I circle that around that you know, we've learned the boat the yachting system is not a new system. No, no, it's, no, no. And he's from a country where probably that is not uh, you know, again he fled Venezuela, but he's also, just not going to give he's it in a, He's in a rank where he doesn't have to give anyone yeah. the time of day. It's all, yeah. Yeah. He has to give the captain the time of day, but everybody else, not really. Captain Glenn just cares about donkeys. Right. And eels not being able to reproduce. Yeah. <laughs> I was dreaming about donkeys. What do you think the donkeys are doing in his dream, in Captain Glenn's dream? Just there on a merry-go-round. Oh, they're, it's very meta. They're on the horses. <laughs> they're on the donkey. <laughs> and Captain Glenn's like, I love this place. Oh, I love this. You know what? While you think about that and we put that in your head, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. What's your next tea bag, Poods? Um, my next tea bag is, let's just talk about it. Um, the oh, other good. big thing that happened. Okay, I was just gonna say. Trigger your, warning: Your hair has looked better. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, right now, I I I admit it. Okay, I know, admit it when my hair is crazy. crazy right now. Um, this is no, a trigger warning. Sense. We're gonna be talking about sexual assault. But well, potential but, sexual but, assault. Potential sex because we don't know. Um, it, but yeah, it's, we're gonna talk about the Ashley and Gary. And situation. I just I want to mostly we're just gonna talk about the topic of it because. I was honestly confused about what happened because both too. parties kept changing their stories throughout the episode. And uh, and I think we're going to find out more what happened next week. Yes, um, because the way it started is, you know, Colin sees them. This is kind of one of my teabag. It just goes into He sees them making out and he's saying, golly, she's so desperate. Right. Trying to end. And Gabby's like, well, I can't say anything. I've been there. And they start making out. And Colin's like, what is it? It's like he has a magic wand. And Colin said, this is, I'm bringing this up because Colin, even by standing, watching it, said, this is out of control. Right. She was like straddling him. Right. And and it even looked like he might have been undoing his pants a little bit. Yeah. So they end yeah, up going, I was uncomfortable. They end up going back to the bedroom. In, a, in some kind of uh, guest room. Yes. And what we hear, obviously we're not watching it, but what we hear things are, again, trigger warning if you're still not listening for talking, talking about sexual assault, is um, what we hear is, uh, she says, I want you to fuck me. But, oh, and, oh, we should say that she was massaging Gary's feet. Right, she was giving him a massage. Saying, like, I'm going to get a massage. Like, he, he, now... I don't really know if he personally thought that, but anyway, but maybe so. He oh, I don't know. She's taking. She's like, she takes her shirt off. Yeah, and she says, "I want you to fuck me," and then he says, "Or actually, I think he said later on she was completely naked." Yeah, right? something like that. Yeah. Uh, there were so many different versions of this, yes. and I was, I was just, I was honestly confused. I probably need to watch again. And the people were saying. I'm drunk. I don't remember. I don't know if that was true or not. Yeah, from either of them. So the 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 long and the short of it is literally that he says we hear him say, "Get it out, get it out." I don't want to do this. He says no, and she said, "You're inside of me." And so that moment, we all kind of went, "This feels like sexual assault." It this it felt it, that, and so, but again, I don't know. It made I will I I only know the way I felt inside, and it made me feel really gross 
And we're and saying, just pointing out, because Poodle brought this up, and I said, what do you mean sexual assault? I don't think Gary, like, sexually assaulted Ashley. And I said, Ashley. no, went, Ashley no, assaulted Ashley. And so Gary. that's my own sexism of I didn't even think about that. And so um, we're not saying – it just – but when you said that, I went, oh, yeah, it does. Imagine if this was flipped. Oh, God. We would be having a really no, big we problem would, with it. Gary would be gone. So it's, it, it just, but, we're and, not saying Gary's Pollyanna over here, but it, no, that but doesn't matter. Li- lines are blurred. No, it doesn't matter. And he's been very, it seems like from what we've seen from Gary, he's very clear that he doesn't want to have sex yes. with her. So, and what complicates all of this is lots of alcohol. Yeah, Kelsey and, was a smart one. She went to bed. Exactly. So, anyway, they are they they, they basically stop. Ashley says the next morning, or, or I think she's talking to someone else. She's like, other things might have happened. She's trying to be titillating with other cast members, which is already gross. Yeah. And then Gary says he doesn't remember. Right. Again, I don't know if I, I don't, I don't normally. Be, I will say this. This is just. 99% of the time when when people say, that are say, oh, I was so drunk, I don't remember. I don't believe them. But maybe that's not. They I, didn't see. I've seen blackout drunk. Yeah. They didn't seem blackout drunk to me. However, I read, uh, if you don't believe that, I'm coming to a point. Right. I highly recommend, came out like three years ago. I read it in a book club. I was, there's a book, book called Blackout, which is fantastic it's about a woman who's now sober but she goes through piecing back these moments of a, and explains what a blackout is and so a blackout is not someone completely slobbering drunk people can be oh. blacked out and okay be no i believe it so i'm just bringing that up that my instinct is to not believe gary right but maybe educate yourself some more about what blackout drunk is i think my instinct is to hear what i heard on camera yeah is Get he it out. Remember. Get it out. Yeah. And he doesn't remember. Yeah. But also that happened and he may he may, he may not want to say it. Yeah. So that's where I went. And so Ashley and Ashley tells Gary, we stopped before it was too late. And that's kind of all we hear. But later on in the day, they're still talking about it. And he's like, They are. And she's like, she says things like, pretty sure I gave you a blowjob. And this is where this starts to feel sexually abusive to me, where she says things like, this is what I remember. I will say I believe and Gary more than I believe Ashley. 100%. Yeah. Um, I, I think Ashley is pretty much the worst thing this season, this, this episode. It doesn't have a really high uh, opinion of her before, but this is really gross. No, because so. she's so – she just can be very – I mean – well, I don't want to jump to another, but even when Gabby leaves, just the coldness of her of not caring at all. Right. And th- yeah, and then but and then never really and resolved. Then her that. her acting like it's a joke and yes. saying, I don't remember when the massage ended and the sex began. It really callous and I don't know. I think we're gonna find out more about it. I doubt we're ever going to hear from Gary that he felt assaulted in this i don't think a, so, a man where who he his rank and who he is and where he's from right. would ever say that but i don't think there was consent involved here personally from what i it, saw from what we saw it didn't uh, seem but consent. anyway that's all I'm, i really want to say about it i want i'm more for in to, to bring up the conversation because we don't have the answers you guys um it, i don't even think bravo thought about it because this is something, yeah this could I have Being not very gone. I've not gone online to look, but I guarantee you, there's been talk about it. Uh, yeah. Because I was, I watched this this morning, and because uh, I, I watched half of it this morning and half of it last night, and I was kind of like, and I and I was like, what a minute did that did that happen? And I went, oh my god, that happened! Mm-hmm. And I just. Oof. Yeah, it did not make me feel. It made me feel very, very uncomfortable. Mm. So, so that so trigger warning over. That's all. We're. I guarantee you, it's going to be talked about in the next episode, though. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, we'll see. um, so I, there's, there's not. I mean, it's I, really kind of all more Gabby stuff. But. I just want to say, the last thing I need to say about the Gary and uh, Colin 
is that Gary steals Colin's towels and he's forced to come out in a tiny little, tiny little uh, and Colin towel. Colin looks good. Oof. He looks real good, Oof. y'all. And Gary says, is that how you had to use it? You know you don't have to have use the towel with me. And Colin winks at him and kisses his shoulder. Wow. And then I fall asleep with my shirt up. <laughs> Dreaming, dreaming about Gary and Colin together, blissfully. They're sailing, Just sailing the seas together. You're happily hand spilling your vodka on the floor. Maybe, maybe. What's your next tea bag? Uh, I, I think where this is coming back to this, but Daisy says something that I think kind of is her downfall a little bit in the leadership style in this. So, because she's talking to Marcos, and Marcos is, you know, Daisy says, this isn't about you, Marcos. This is another thing, because, you know, Gabby is saying, crying again. And Marcos is like, yeah, it's not, but she doesn't have to disrespect me, because it's, Marcos is only thinking about, I do think Marcos doesn't have to, but he is only thinking about her. I can see him being hard in a relate. He does, he's not thinking, or he's only thinking about himself. He's yeah. not thinking about her feelings at all. But Daisy says, you know, this is a huge learning curve. I'm trying to keep all of them happy. And I went, and there's your mistake. You can't That's a good a, point. You can't be a leader and keep everyone happy. To be a leader means you have to be okay with people being uncomfortable or even upset at you or even really angry at you. She, she, what she needed to do, honestly, is to tell Gabby to be the bad guy and say, look, stop being shitty to Marcos or just talking to him at all. Yeah. Just stop. Knock it off. Knock it off. Because if Marcos ain't happy, we're fucked. Yeah, she need it, that sucks, y'all, but it's the truth. It's a, it's like, you know, uh, you know, when we it very rarely happens nowadays cuz the mods are so mad. but like in the Facebook group when people are shitty in the group, you get booted from a group and it's like I try I we Jake and I learned not the mods they the, we this isn't a personal thing. It's about what's best for our organization. Right. What's best for this boat? Is for her to know right. that he outranks her. And Daisy feels Ashley gets that. Yeah. Ashley gets it and she plays the game of it. And Which is why staying. she's going to go far, sadly, she's y'all. Gonna go, I, pro- I y'all, promise you. She will be a fucking lead stew yeah, one day. Yeah, she will. She and will. Chief stew. Yeah. Or chief stew. And her people under her will miserable, hate her. Miserable. And all of her and all the higher ups, the captain will love her. Because she will be so two-faced. Yes, yes. Yeah. The yes. problem with someone like Ashley being on a show like this, however, is we see all the gears moving. So we yeah. can we we if we in real life we would not see as much as we yes. are. Yes. Uh, even though we most we could mostly surmise what we're seeing. <sighs> I have one more little thing that their next preference the pre- next charter. There's someone who needs to be called Doctor Nichols. <laughs> addressed by the oh by oh, the yes. Staff. yes 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 so i have a feeling it's gonna be they're gonna be a nightmare did you watch the next week on yes it's gonna be great yeah i We're have finally gonna get a nightmare crew and it's we've gonna had ha- them but and it's gonna happen to daisy and ashley when they're one stew down yeah let's let's it, hope ashley suffers oh i truly hope ashley suffers um i i think all that i I really had is, uh, let's see, Daisy was dreading to talk, but she didn't have to because Gabby goes to Captain. And that's another thing, too. Like, I know Daisy, we had this with Katie. Katie went to some people and said, oh, I don't want to do this talk. But I felt like Daisy went to everyone on the ship saying, I don't want to talk to Gabriella. No, she did. That's not a good, maybe go to your, if she went to, uh, it, like, Ashley's hearing this. It just... No, the thing is, Daisy's biggest problem uh, with leadership is she wants everyone to like her and think she's a great boss. It almost, see, I take it as, I think Gabriella wants everyone to like her. I think Daisy wants to n- not have any confrontation and she wants everything to be easy so she didn't have to deal with it. Yeah, but I think that going in hand but in hand is both. being the fun boss. Being the, Yes, I do think she wants to be the fun boss. Yeah. Yes, yep, yep, yep. Um... So Gabriella does talk to Captain Glenn, and she says, I am not in a place with my mental well-being, and the best thing for me to do is to leave the boat. And Captain Glenn just validates that. And say, and this is what Gabriella just wanted all along. Yeah. Just someone to say, 
You're doing, which Daisy did last episode in that talk. I don't want to shit all. Daisy did have a great talk with Gabrielle yeah. at the end of last episode. No, we but, brought it up before. Her, she's even the last season, the episodes I watch, there's been problems with Daisy's leadership. No, and but so, y'all, I thought to myself, how would Captain Sandy have handled this situation? Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, uh, Gabriella, you've interrupted me from my reruns of Gentleman Jack that I was watching. New season, HBO season. Max, coming soon. <laughs> Woman dressed as a man. Very, 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 very hot. It's very... Uh, uh, yeah, I just need to say, drama. Gabriella, that... Erotic drama. It's what you it know, is. You've, been, you've been great, but I know you have problems, and you need to get those worked out. So what I would tell you is you need to do some work on yourself. What are you saying again? You want to leave? Yeah. God, we're going to hate to lose you. <laughs> Have you tried talking about it? <laughs> Have you? Tr- oh, it's with Marcos. Oh, yeah, he's really good. We really, really <laughs> need him. <laughs> Best of luck to you, honey. <laughs> the tender's coming, I hear. I'll write you a good wreck. She'll just tell Gabriella, you just need to lead your own ship. Lead your own ship. But the ship in your heart. Yeah, listen to the ship in your heart. Ship in your heart. Drop your anchor lower, lower. into your body. <laughs> so, like Gentleman Jack. Mm-hmm. What are your emotional <laughs> boobies? All right, everybody. Oh, God. No, Captain Glitz is very simple. And again, y'all, Ashley is just fucking cold and like just like guess what my i i i get the bottom bunk yay yay i guess i'm gonna be seconds too and i get a bigger tip that's i mean the cold. body she's not even off the boat and then that's where i'll say gabby goes and says bye to the group and i just wish we would have had this moment of i know daisy is over it and she yeah. feels like gabrielle has been high maintenance and she's glad that she's gone honestly but You're i still right. wish daisy would have gone and said it would have been a better a nice gesture because captain glenn said this is a good decision for you. I would love to work with you again. I wish Daisy just, I, that was disappointing to me. But other than that, y'all, it was a fine episode. Next episode, though, I think it's We're going to get, we have a new blonde stew. And, you know, they and she's pretty, y'all. They didn't show us the deck guy. No, they did not. That means he's probably hot. Hot or someone we've seen before. That's what I wonder to someone maybe that we know or maybe you know. Yeah. All right, everybody. That's Blue Dick Sailing Yacht. Thanks for joining us. Go to reality. It should be up. You can go to realitygates.com for our ticket links. If it's not up there because we've got a web designer with the kid and a life, so they might be a little late to the game. It's on our Instagram link tree. Our link tree links, or it's in the show notes on the app on your phone. If you see, It'll say buy tickets here, and you'll see a a link tree link. You can click on that, and that will have all the different show venues for you to buy your tickets and uh we'll see you on the and road before you dm us about something maybe check our instagram check our twitter we're try y'all <laughs> i told you i gave the that last mom time talk. we rolled out we rolled out the the tickets there were everything was online but y'all didn't read stuff <laughs> you didn't or didn't people are people are asking us when is this happening and i'm like we just talked about it in the three minute podcast so Read things, listen to things. <laughs> now, things. you can go to the Facebook group and maybe post. Let's say you're going to the Phoenix show. There's little. And you have a question. There's each. If you're in the Facebook, the Sissy Squad, there's a each show, Jackie, our moderator, put a post for each different venue. So you could click on there and yep. say, hey, Phoenix, or I'm, I'm go- having trouble getting VIP. Or I'm going by myself. Any, anybody, think, anybody, any other solo sissies or anyone want to do something beforehand? Because a lot of y'all think, I'll just message the queens. They'll know. Well, when, Multiply that by 5,000. <laughs> well, not that, I wish. But when 500, seriously, yeah. 500 of you message us that, we have no brain space and we can't get to that. And then and then we can't do a podcast. And by the time we get, <laughs> well, but then also by the time we get back to you, the VIPs are sold right, out. Right, right, I right. I do think y'all, I will say, if you are listening to this on the free feed and you're waiting till Friday to get your ticket and you want to do a VIP, 
I would just suck it up and pay the five dollars this month it, and, and get the uh, Patreon. A lot of these venues, you guys, only allow fifty VIPs. That's just that is their rules. That is their rules. So those are, I think, like Dallas is going to sell out of those quickly. Yep. Um, I also think well, a lot of sissies were very excited about. Surprisingly, I think we have a lot of people to fill, but San Diego might sell yes. out of VIPs quickly. Columbus too, y'all. y'all like we we've been I've been shitting on Ohio for a long but we time. We have a lot of Ohio sissies. So anyway, um, and we did get confirmation. The Reens from Pig Royalty did tell us they will see us in Austin. Yes. So it looks like they're going to be coming to that show as well. All right, everybody. Until next time, we'll see you. But until then, it's Anchors Anchors Again. again.